Hello, and welcome to Bugs in My Backyard podcast, coming to you from Kearney, Nebraska, with Jonathan Nicola, and this week, Bennett Nicola. He'll be our only uh, junior entomologist on the episode today. Uh, This week, we're going to talk about uh, another insect. Uh, We're going to hopefully do the podcast a little better this week, doing things a little differently, and also adding a cool feature at the end where we're going to talk about Pokemon insects, and Bennett's going to, we're going to have a Pokemon insect of the week, Um, and we're also going to try to do this in less than 10 minutes. So let's just kick it off, Bennett. What is our insect of the week? A ladybug. A ladybug. Ladybug. Cute and cuddly? No. No. Well, that's our our question that we're going to answer as we tell you more about ladybugs, but let's first of all, Bennett, let's talk about where ladybugs get their name. Do you have any idea where they get their name? Are they, is it because they're all ladies? No. Are they all girls? No. No. Where do you think they get their name? Uh... You want me to answer it for you? Yeah. Okay. So they get their name. There's some debate about where exactly this came from, but some people think it came from Mary, the mother of Jesus, and associating her with the color red. And that's where they came up with the name Ladybug. Um, another question is a ladybug a bug yeah okay that's a confusing topic that we'll probably get into some other time with kids but there's actually a type of insect called a bug a group of insects called bugs and a ladybug is not one of them do you know what type of insect a ladybug is it, wait, what? what type of insect is a ladybug an insect i know but what kind is it a what does it look like a beetle yeah it's okay a beetle. This is another gift from my coworker, the ladybugs. So this is a ladybug is a type of beetle, and it is an insect because it's an arthropod, and it has jointed legs. It has six of them, as you can see here on this little uh, little one, and it has three body parts: the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. And underneath this outer, the outer wing is under some wings underneath that let it fly. Mm-hmm. So we're going to talk about ladybugs. And uh, actually, you know what, Bennett? Some people call them, most scientists call them lady beetles. They don't like to use the word ladybug since it's not a real bug, but that's what most people call them. And people in England call them lady bird beetles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but we don't really, yeah, that's not a term we use around here. But um, So here's the question, you know, or, or the thought in In everyday life, like I've noticed your mom, my wife, had a shirt on yesterday with little tiny ladybugs on it. Um, We have a a daycare in town uh, here in Kearney, Nebraska. Uh, Yeah, I guess give give them free advertising. They have little cute ladybugs with hearts on it. You know, everyone loves ladybugs, right? Like, how can you how can you not (laughs) love ladybugs? See, look at the look how cute they are. Everyone loves their colors. Um, they're stuffed animals. There's all kinds of things, right? That one has a heart on it. Yeah, it does kind of have that heart on it. Well, what we'll find out is, we'll answer that question. Are they really as cute and cuddly as people think? No. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll find out why. But, okay, so we, we've got some lessons, first of all. So the first lesson about ladybugs is they come in many, there are many types. They have many colors, different colors they come in, and they some have spots and some don't have spots. So this prototypical, typical ladybug up here, they don't all look like this. Some are black, some are brown, some are yellow, some are orange, some have spots. Actually, none of them look like that. You know, this one has 10 spots. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. I'm not sure if any have exactly this, this pattern. So, so they're all really different. Okay, and I think that's one thing we need to show. In fact, um, around here, you're going to see a lot around where we are and around the country, some of the common ones you're going to see. Um, this is a convergent lady beetle. See the, the two white bars on its, uh, on that, I think that's pro, pro not, pronatum, that covers the thorax. What, what is it? It's an Asian lady. That one's not. Oh, that's a seven spot? That, no, that's a convergent lady beetle. Here's the here's the seven spotted lady beetle. Why do you think they call it seven spotted lady beetle? Because it has seven spots. Yeah, pretty 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 self-explanatory. So that's one you're gonna see a lot around here. 
Um, Bennett Bennett mentioned the Asian lady beetle. Oh, here's another one of a convergent. Let's show the convergent again, because because that's a good one. Again, um, oh, what happened? I didn't press the right button. There it is. So there's a there's a convergent lady beetle feeding on a flower. It's orange. Yep, and that's more of an orangish one. Mm -hmm. And then the one that Bennett mentioned, the one that we see a lot now that maybe we didn't see a long time ago, are Asian lady beetles. And they're actually an invasive species. Um, you know, they still do things, like we'll get into later, that make the them guys. not all bad. But some people think they're out competing the native lady beetles. Dots. Yeah, well, they might, but what? Why do you? How do we know that's an Asian lady beetle, Bennett? Because it doesn't have those like bows, and it doesn't have seven spots. Well, look at look at look on the thorax area. Look at yeah. the yeah. Look at the uh, pattern. Exactly. It looks like it has an M or a W, depending on which way you're looking at it. And that isn't always so clearly formed. But if you're trying to figure out if it's an Asian lady beetle, that's what you're looking for. Because you know what? I'm going to show you something. They don't all look like that. In fact, I'm going to show you the same species of lady beetle, another Asian lady beetle. See, it has the M shape, but there's no. There's only one little spot over on the side. There's otherwise there's no spots. Oh, and Daddy, the the seven-spotted lady beetle is actually an eight-spotted lady beetle. No, it had seven. It has. It had two on the line, and then three on the. Other side. Should we go back to that one? Yeah. See? No. There's three. If you're, if, you're, if you're one of our viewers, look on sort of the top part, the left side. Four. And there's three Six. on each side. There's three on each wing. And then there's one that's kind of heart-shaped in the middle. That's two. No, it's one. But it's one. It counts as one. Looks like two together. Yeah. So, so the point is, and I'll show you another late, uh, Asian lady beetle here. Uh, they just let you know the variety and this one actually is like very orangish color mm -hmm. um, So Whoa. yeah, so it just it's really hard like some species don't have spots Some species do have spots that are exactly the same all the time some species differ based on which lady beetle it is It looks like the wings are covering in ice yeah, It's, it's a, so that's a little paler paler orange color. So they just vary widely so we're going to go now to our next lesson about lady beetles. And that is that they, they go through complete metamorphosis. So that's a big word, but I think it's important to use it even for little kids to learn it. And that basically means when you go through complete metamorphosis is that the bit or I'm sorry, complete metamorphosis is that the baby doesn't really look that much like the adult versus incomplete metamorphosis the baby looks a lot like the adult, right? But in this case, lady beetles go through complete metamorphosis. And so their babies, actually, I think they look like, kind of like, people say they look like tiny alligators. Um, um, not really to me. You don't think so? I think it, look, I think it looks kind of like alligators. So we'll, we'll click on one, one here. Um, Isn't that one? Oh, you know what? Yeah, here's, here's a lot of <laughs> All right. So there's there's a larva. So that is a lady beetle larva. It's so if you see that on your plant, save 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 the punchline. I know what you want to say, but if you see that, you have lady beetles around, and it turns because it goes through complete metamorphosis. It it pupates, which means it that's like when a caterpillar forms a cocoon or or that sort of thing, and so it forms a pupa that's when it and that's what changes into the adult lady beetle and that's what it looks like so if you see that on a plant Ooh. if you see that on a plant that's it's changing it's the baby's changing into the adult it looks like a roly-poly it does kind of look like one it has these little spiky things on the end of it, at the top of it yeah yeah They're but slimy. and then it goes from that and then it changes into an adult lady beetle and i'll post a different one here so you guys can see a different species this is the spotted lady beetle that's not the pupa of a spotted lady beetle, right. beetle but this is what and this is another adult Whoa. and this one looks a little different than the others this is a spotted lady beetle or a pink spotted lady beetle it has Pinks. different names so so that's the process so we start with larva 
So it lays it, so it comes out of the egg, it becomes this larva, it changes into the pupa, and then it turns into the adult. adult. Exactly. So in our last lesson about lady beetles, Bennett, we've been we've been holding this one off for a while. What is the thing that people don't know about lady beetles? They are like uh, they're predators. They're predators. What does it mean to be a predator? Uh, it eats other animals. Or yeah. Other insects. It eats other things. So actually, that is a really funny cartoon that I have um, that I <laughs> that I got from Unearthed Comics, and you can go online and check them out. Um, this uh, this artist uh, has a lot of different comics, um, and she likes to do nature comics. And so this is uh, hers about lady beetles, and it's a it's a mom and her daughter saying, "I love watching ladybugs. They're so calm and <laughs> peaceful." And then if you really zoom in and close. Lady beetles are not that calm and peaceful. They are just devouring other says, insects. Meanwhile, die aphid scum. Save yourselves. Yeah. Uh, run for your lives. Yeah, so, so lady beetles are very voracious predators. They eat tons of aphids and mites. Even some eat caterpillars, scale insects, um, in, in some scientists say they do eat other things too. Like they, they, they know they might eat some pollen and some nectar and things like that. But primarily, they're predators. And of course, they're not going to eat us. You don't have to worry about, about these things really. But they are just voracious, aggressive predators. In fact, let's go back to that larva photo. If uh, someone was really observant when they saw us post the larva photo, they would have seen... The fact that it's eating an aphid. It is eating an aphid. So look at that. Look at that poor little aphid. Actually, not poor little aphid because it's hurting our poor milkweed plant. Aphid. And that that yeah, the the larva of the uh, ladybug is chowing down. The um, larva and the pupa are not insects. What do you mean they're not insects? Because yeah, that one has m way more than. Body you know, that's a great point. That's a great point, Bennett. They're still an insect. They base it on what the adult is like. But and also, if you notice, look at even as a larva, they only have six legs. Even a caterpillar. If you looked at a caterpillar, uh, even a caterpillar only has six legs. No. Yeah. Because it has a leg on every part. No. Well, you know what? When we do a butterfly episode, we'll talk about that. They have some other things that aren't real legs on them. But... But that's a great, great topic oh, for the yeah, future. They have the sticky thing. Oh, and we have a special appearance. Um, Elisa is, she likes to hover over our podcast. She got an etch a sketch and she decided to draw a lady beetle on her etch a sketch. I guess that is a, uh, looks like a seven, I don't know, eight, but a very, um, very creative little drawing by our, our homemade artist, uh, Elisa May Nicola. It's actually a. Thank you, Elisa, for your, your continued artwork contributions to our episode. So they're predators. And um, what do you think about their color? Why do you think they're red, Bennett? Uh, to blend in. Blend in with green? Does that blend in very much? <laughs> Why do you think they're red? Um, Well, what about what about things like monarchs that are really brightly colored? Do other predators want to eat oh, them? Oh no, because they think they're like poisonous, or poisonous. Yeah. So then they don't eat them. So I don't know if they're really not tasty or not, but they're signaling to other predators that they don't want to eat them. They're not. So yeah, well, yeah I, don't, I don't know. Have you eaten one? I'm not sure. So anyway, that's that's the basics about about. Ladybugs. So let's remind folks once again, lesson one, there are many types, lots, you yeah. know, a few different colors. Many some types. have spots, some don't have spots. Okay. The next thing, they go they through. They go through a complete metamorphosis. Yep. So larva, pupa, adult. And the baby looks nothing like the adult. Nope. None of that. Oh. And then lastly, they are predators. They are predators. Okay. All right. So finally, we'll wrap up here with our insect of the week. Uh, or I'm sorry, our um, 
Pokemon Insect of the Week. And the reason we're doing this is because I was, you know, the boys like to go looking for birds and looking for bugs with me uh, a lot, but they also like to go with me and play Pokemon when they go. And I don't mind that because they get out of the house, they discover things, we have fun together. So it's they search for fictional characters, creatures, I search for real ones. But so I noticed that some of the characters were based on insects. And so... No, I did. Well, you did. You let me know that. Okay, so Bennett is going to tell you our Pokemon of the week. Bennett, uh, take it away. Ready, babe. Uh, so, um, they Talk are... Loud. Okay, they are ladybugs, as you can... Yeah. Do you, are they are they really strong Pokemon? Mm, well, sometimes and well, it depends on what, how much CP. So up here. But the top right it here. says the CP. Yeah, people uh -huh. can't see the mouse. So the top is the uh, CP. And yeah. what's their like? What's their hit? What's their attack? Um, some of them do like a hundred. Or it's. Or how, what is it? Is it like a, they shoot like? Do they shoot uh, they, things at people? Um, one of the, the special move I think is string shot, so it wraps okay. the other Pokemon up. And so. then what does it evolve into? Ladian. Ladian. Okay. And is Ladian very similar? I mean, does it have similar attacks? Uh, kind of. It. You can see at the bottom, one of them is struggle bug. It's like twenty or ten damage. And then the other, the superpower is Silver Wind, and it does 70 damage. Gotcha. All right. Well, thank you, Bennett, for uh, telling us about the Pokemon. We'll, we'll do a Pokemon every week that has something to do with insects. This week, we happen to do one that was based on the ladybug. Uh, we may not do it exactly that way every week, but I just thought that's a cool way that kids can see how nature and insects are part of games and things they really like so mm -hmm. do you have any parting words before we sign off no no all right thanks for listening we didn't do 10 minutes we did 15 we'll get better but i hope you enjoyed it and we will see you next week when hey we're gonna be at a nascar race next weekend right oh yeah so well, i don't know what insect we're gonna do next week but i was thinking on maybe maybe looking for bugs when we're at the nascar race to show people how insects are everywhere what do you think about that okay Can okay I stop it you can stop it. Thanks, everyone. Bye.